default meter for the sequence can be set using the control panel using the current meter menu. In our case, it's already set at 4-4. We can now insert the meter changes into our sequence. Easy way to do this is with the event list. The meter changes can only go into the conductor track, so we need to switch to that. The event list holds all the events within a track. What the events are is dependent on the type of track. At the top of the event list is a context-sensitive menu that allows you to select the type of event that can be inserted into the event list. Let's change the selection to meter change. To insert the meter change into the event list, we select the insertion point at the, at the start of measure 2 and press the plus button on the event window. The inserted event has the location in measure notation, time from the start of the sequence, the meter change value itself, and the click value. The click value tells us the amount of time between clicks. In this case, it's the time for one quarter note. It's possible to edit the location, but we set it with the insertion point, so we'll just leave it alone. To edit the time signature, click on it and change the value to 2-4. Insert another meter change event at measure 3. The default value is 4-4, four, four, so we can leave it alone. Now insert a 2-4 event at 5. And a 4-4 event at measure 6. We can now adjust the tempo to match the sound bite. Quite often the tempo is annotated in the score. In one solitary life, this is not the case. Even if it was, we must treat the annotation as a suggestion. The tempo is set by the conductor and it can vary from the annotation, even within the track. When you are tempo mapping, you must listen through the complete track, changing the tempo as you go. To do the tempo mapping, it's helpful to hear the click. You can turn it on by clicking the metronome icon in the control panel. You can make adjustments to the click using Digital Performer's Preferences. Select the Click Preferences to see those options. You can change which output the click plays on and how the click sounds. Let's change the downbeat sound. You can also change the volume of the click by uh, adjusting it in this dialog as well. Now we can listen to the click and compare it to the sound bite. We can hear that the click is much faster than the track. Before we can adjust the tempo, we need to lock the sound bite in place in the track so that it doesn't move when the tempo changes. We do this by setting a sync point at the measure the audio of the sound bite starts at. Put an insertion point at measure 1 and pick from the audio menu set sync point. You will now see a marker in the sound bite at measure 1. The tempo that we just played was set using the tempo controls in the control panel and was playing at 120 beats per minute. We can change the value here, but that would not allow us to make tempo changes in the track. We need sh to shift control the conductor track. Tempo changes are an event, just like meter changes. To insert them into the event list, we do, the, do it exactly the same way. Put the insertion point at the beginning of the track, change the insertion menu to Tempo Change, and click the plus button to insert it. The Tempo Change event shown in the event list is similar to the meter change with a location, but there is only one parameter, the ch tempo change itself. We will enter a lower value and try it. 
we will just cut the value in half to 60. It's still a little fast, so let's try 50. Just a touch fast, so we'll tr try 49. Notice now that the waveform lines up. The first few beats work well at 49, but we were slow at measure 3 beat 3. We can fix that by putting a tempo change in at measure 3 beat 1. I just happen to know that the correct value needs to be 51.5. We continue with the same process, adding new tempo changes as needed. There is one more thing you need to know about the score. At the end of the piece, there is a fermata that tells us we need to slow way down. So let's skip ahead and handle that. Parliaments that ever sat and all the Now as we go along we found that we can't really hear the click over the track. So we need to adjust it down. We can do that by um, going to another window in the consolidated window. We cl click on the mixing board tab and lower the track volume with this slider. Switch back to the sequence and continue tempo mapping. ...that ever marched and all the navies that ever sailed all the parliaments that ever sat, and all the kings that ever reigned, put together, have not affected the life of man upon this earth. We know from the score that the piece needs to end at measure 30, so we will put in tempo changes to make that happen. Well, that's it for tempo mapping. There will be more blog posts and videos at lcttech.foothillsbaptist.org. Thanks for watching.